with women. Mm-hmm. I have not had sex with a woman before. Um, I am. It's going to change tonight. It's the finale. Yeah. <laughs> All three of us get ready. <laughs> Subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Like the other thing that annoys me with that particular cre- creator is that I could do so many things for like the clickbait just to get like views and stuff, but I'm like, no, like oh, that's trashy. No, let's put you in jumpers and just like let you talk, let your words be the slutty one for a change. Yeah, you know, I do agree with that. This is something we actually talked about the no time we recorded, yeah, um, oh, no. about being slutty and where our sluttiness stemmed from. Do you remember? And I was kind of saying like you and I both kind of had the same similar experience where we both grow up and we went to all girls school. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, can you just imagine? We the went two of to us? all girls like Catholic like, private yeah, schools. Yeah, could Disgusting. you imagine this? I know, right? I can imagine it. I can see it. Yeah. Um, how did that experience? Do you think like kind of make you where you are today? Well, I mean, I think it opened my eyes to a lot of things. There was definitely like a crowd of um, like lesbians or bisexuals in my like school. And because there wasn't that many of them in the year group, like all year seven to 12 would just hang out in that kind of like LGBT kind of group. Queer and group. Yeah. And when I when I first came out, I came out as a lesbian because I didn't really understand bisexuality and that it existed. You were just like, I had sex with one boy and that's disgusting. That's enough for me. <laughs> that is enough. I do not need this I hadn't anymore. Even, so I hadn't even slept with a boy, but I was just That like, was already. She already had mm, enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just, because all I was, I was surrounded by like girls and women and a lot of the girls that I was dating were in my year. And that I were interested in. So I was like, oh, I like, like I'm, I like girls so much. I must be a lesbian. Mm-hmm. And like all of the guys in at the brother school that we had, like disgusted me to no end. But at the same time, I was like, there were year nine boys. Of course, they're going to disgust mm-hmm. Yeah, so you. they're like year nine boys from one particular private school in Perth. And she's like, I'm done with the entire <laughs> men in the universe. That's it. <laughs> if I say the school, is it going to make it? We can no. bleep it, right? Yeah. So oh, like that is not a surprise. Yeah, yeah. right. That's wow. why she's just like, oh, I just, this is all the men I'm ever so for. disgusting. Like, even all he is, I'm just, I wouldn't go near them. And she still ended up with, like, a rich, pretentious white boy. Yeah. <laughs> out of well, all I mean, that. Didn't... Do you remember when you came out at all? Did you yeah. Just come... I was 15. Um, <laughs> oh, I just uh, wrapped up a sleepover with one of my friends. He went home on his moped to school <laughs> <laughs> and I got my mum from her bedroom. I was like, mum, can you come with me? And she was like, yeah, sure. I was like, you might need to sit down. She was like, no, I'll stand, thinking I was going to tell her bad news. And I was like, I'm pansexual. She was like, what is How that? How the fuck did you know? I don't know. Tumblr? Tumblr. Oh, true. Oh, you're God, a Tumblr yeah. girl. Yeah. That's it. Um, Can't trust that generation. And mum was like, what's pansexual? She's like, fucking pancakes, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I like anyone. Regardless of gender, she's like, I love that, sweetie. Um, and uh, yeah, it just kind of grew and grew, and I had more girlfriends and more girlfriends. And now my family don't ask me, "Where's your boyfriend?" It's purely, Are "You dating any pretty girls at the moment?" Are we? Are we? We? It's the finale. Mm. Are we doing two parts? Yeah, Is I'm going to two parter. Part. Yeah, okay. One of the things that we would kind of assume about a lot of people and when I say a lot of people I'm kind of really talking about straight men is that they have an idea of basic sex education and it's really surprising to know how many people there are out there that have actually like no clue about like how the vagina works Mm. how orgasms work how like like you'd think it's obvious that porn isn't real but it's really not to a lot of people no it's not I know. I want to tell you this. I'm gonna out. I'm gonna out this person here. <laughs> so, um, okay. So you know. Okay, I'm gonna blank this name, but you know, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Not that long ago. And when I say not that long ago, so it's within the, at least the last two years. Just figured out that period blood and like urine don't come from the same place. Mm. Wow. And that's that, it's really common. And that, that people don't know that. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out how to like <laughs> explain this in like a layman <laughs> term. And that like the penis 
go come goes into where the blood comes from mm. because that's where babies comes out from. Yeah. Too. And it's just like the most basic anatomy does that it? he didn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> like a girl who spends her half her time in a vagina doesn't even know. <laughs> Literally. But like it's 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 so sorry. It's it's so common that like a lot of guys just don't have this like basic like sex education. Mm. Yeah. And this is like where I started this podcast from because like I kind of want to go into sex education. Like obviously once I finish like uni and like do all my qualifications and everything like that, this was always like a stepping stone to get into further education because mm. like it's a really big problem that a lot of people don't have like basic sex education. Mm, yeah. Um, and there was that study that came out not long ago that ranked all the countries and the amount of people they slept with like around the world. And Australia ranked number two with the average being like six or seven okay. people. of people that they sleep okay. with in their entire lifetime. In their entire lifetime. Really? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Blown that out. Did you, not see, did you not see that? No. Oh, she's just like, oh, six are just like yesterday, mate. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, so like I was literally looking at this like, are you fucking kidding me? Like this this can't be real. I am and very surprised at that number. Yeah. yeah. No, was it six? No, sorry. The average was 12. The average was 12. Even 12. And we That's were number two. Low. We were number two in the entire world. Yeah. I think like what Tur- was number one? Turkey or something was like thirteen or something like someone. They of those pop countries. on off in Turkey. Yeah, maybe but, I should go visit. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I I had a discussion with like um my one of my previous guests, and she spent quite some time some t- quite some time in America, and she actually was like, no, that's real. That's real. Like a lot of Americans only ever sleep with like two, three people in their lifetime. A lot of people that's in like crazy. Asia, India, Africa, like a lot of these countries, they average maybe like five. And then I'm looking at the our average, like something I'm good at for a change. <laughs> something I'm well at. Yeah, something that I've, I've exceeded. exceeded. <laughs> oh, wow. A well plus. exceeded. A plus plus. Yeah. <laughs> You're off High the charts High distinction. For this. Absolutely. Like where were, where were us like in the statistics and the surveys? Where were we? I'm Considering doubt. that we all know so many people that would exceed that number <laughs> by like... I, multiples yeah it just seems really hard to believe like where did we did we not average out the amount of people who's like yeah did we not count low? any people in the sex scene mm. no. so then when we when i looked at this study because i was also like exactly where are all these people taking studies in the yeah. sex scenes? and obviously like these studies are so hard to do because m- some people might lie but then I'm like, what's the point of that? Because then we're like, you know, not getting on, honest answers. I'm like, where yeah. are you finding the people? Because then obviously you're not talking to people that are in the scene because yeah. where are the averages? So I had like a look and it said on an average lifetime, a woman would sleep with three people and a man like four or five. Just if that did like add all the averages and then like do uh, the numbers. The first year that I lost my virginity, I think I overcame like three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was over like my that. average yeah. by then. Probably very similar i think like and that's like the weird thing is because like i think we're quite prudish in society but apparently australians are like big fucking whores mm, apparently yeah. yeah i know um and then like we look at ours because like i don't know about you guys but like i have friends who are like in the scene and then i have friends who are outside the scene and like compared like when i'm in this out in the scene like at this table mm-hmm. i'm very innocent more innocent than you which is quite you know surprising <laughs> um but then when i'm outside in the scene with like my like my other friends yeah. I, i'm like the biggest whore nice do you feel that yeah do you feel like that i definitely am in the same situations yeah yeah i just don't know how to like handle the balance though because i'm like i don't know where you want to be where you want to sit I just don't care. i'm just always you know? a whore and i own that yeah man. i'm like if i want to sleep with someone i don't care about them no. at all. like do you feel like your outside friends like judge you or inside community? I mean, if they do. Not a friend. And if they want to judge me so hard, like just I don't want to be friends with them. Mm. No, if absolutely. they're going to be friends, yeah. like if you're going to be a friend with someone, especially someone that's in a scene it that is not super like public knowledge or not super popular, uh, popular with every single pe- person that you meet day to day. I think they should be non judgmental. Non judgmental. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Definitely. Um, I always like. I find like because people talk about like the scene and what's inside and outside the scene. I feel like it kind of creates like clickiness and like seclude. 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 Secludes. Yeah, it like secludes people. But the thing is, you want this 
community to be a community it means like open to people like you want this like people to like come in and like be able to be free like i am very surprised with the amount of things that go on in perth in australia like you know one of my last guests they were talking about like sex temples Mm -hmm. and like people go and they like experience basically like almost like a sex party but it's like they're workshopping and learning and they're like tying spirituality with it yeah and i wouldn't like i don't know if if this even exists in wa but like why wouldn't it like i might not know about it there's definitely certain things down south is there that you can explore yep i I mean like there's probably something for everyone it's just like where Mm -hmm. do you find these things like i feel like a lot of the kink world especially like when you're coming when you're talking about like shibari and all of that kind of tying stuff it brings a lot of spirituality and Mm -hmm. grounding and everything like that being able to pull yourself back to like mother nature especially if you're outside and all that kind of stuff into um like into the surrounding just world um, brings a lot of spirituality into those types mm. of things, especially when I've been doing them. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you sure. can find a lot of things on FetLife, um, oh, on yeah. Reddit. Mm. I don't know how much I trust Reddit. Why? I don't know. Like I, like, I, so I was on Reddit not long ago because I was trying to see how easy it would be to find like cash pigs in Perth mm-hmm. like if they existed right like it's just so do you know what a cash pig is uh kind she of she looks so confused when we just said it so basically it's just one of those guys that I, I'm just like you are a fat piece of shit and then they're like oh my god here's like a thousand dollars oh yeah okay like literally just you know, someone I would like to be friends with, really, honestly. <laughs> they, I feel like they definitely exist. No, they, Everything they, they, exists. They, they do exist. And so I was on, like, Reddit and I was trying to find the people always say, like, it takes time, blah, 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 blah. So I ended up going onto Twitter because I'm not going to fucking call that shit a hex. I was on Twitter and I was looking at this, like, one girl who does it really well and she just, like, travels and she mm. just gets guys to just send her money all the time and she just does nothing but just insults them. And I'm like, where are... Are these men for me? Yeah. I it's a very use. lucrative industry. Yeah. I know. If anyone wants to get insulted by me, I'd, I'd be like happy to do it. I'd mean it as well. Would she you would. like it? Would you like I mean, you can insult cash? me. I just don't have enough money to give you back. <laughs> I just don't think I could insult her anyway. Look at that face. That's really I mean. Never. I could probably, I don't want to insult you. It's mm. kind of scary to be honest. Yeah. That's, that's understandable. Well, then that I wrote down. All right. These are like really quick. Um, I tried to give these questions to um, guests before and they went into such deep questions that we were here for 35 minutes. It was just like, Christ. I want like quick answers, okay? Okay. Come on, right? I don't think she's older than me. I'm 28. She is older than me. Mm. So we'll go this <laughs> We'll go this. We'll go this <laughs> way. <laughs> Let's go to the most important question. Star sign. Pisces. Pisces. Aries. Mm. <laughs> You're outnumbered here. Yeah, there we go. All right, favorite color? Purple. Blue. Black. It's not a color. It's a shade. It's it is a shade. Yeah. So what's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> Pink. <laughs> Damn. Last time you had sex? Like a week ago. Oh my God. Is that uh, bad or good? Huh? Is that bad or good? Uh, it's quite some time. Oh, yeah. I'd say a couple of days ago. Like a month ago? Oh my, oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. You said it before, but I mean, you want to still go with like your favorite position is missionary? Yeah. Missionary. I'm going to do doggy is mine. So. Oh, oh really? Like, yeah. yeah, I do. I don't know. It's not something I get often. So. Fair. I like a good mirror. Oh, if I yeah. Was to change yeah. That. That's, yeah. That's always nice. Because at least you can look at each other myself. in the mirror. I'm just looking yeah. at me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, I look really look. good right now. She's like, that but angle just works for me. I mean, Jamie really wants a um, mirror on the ceiling. But how that it's cringe jamie yeah i know how cheap mm. he's still a fuck boy just he throwing is. through yeah he really is i don't feel bad for i you, grew all right i'm the one that grew him yeah stayed the same yeah he's just like matured maybe like the tiniest Loop. minuscule mm. amount but that's your burden today through and through yeah yeah <laughs> unfortunately love him well so like these are just kind of like yes or no for like certain kinks and stuff okay or like things that you do with food and like food f- things you do with sex so one of them was food yes no no 
Really? I want to try, but my partner says no. no. Messy. Imagine having to clean that up yeah. afterwards. I like my food. Yeah. Oh, that's I want to eat it. Not <laughs> okay, wax play. I'm on the fence. Absolutely, yes. Oh, okay. Role playing. Yeah. No. No. Really? really? I, I can be the person. I don't need to role play. What kind of role playing do you like to do? Or have you done before? The weirdest one. Give me the weirdest one. Oh, I... D- it's more just like the costumes, right? You're just like um, that. You're a school teacher. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> Not a, specifically a school teacher, but you know, I uh, just like putting the costumes on. I'm like, hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to know something really like weird I did one time? Yeah, sure. Um, so I thought it would be like kind of hot, but it kind of backfired in my face. So, um, I work at which just blank that, and they have like the lost property. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! And in the lost property was a kid's t-shirt of a school that they went to that the person that I was sleeping with at the time went to as well. And so we had to throw out like all this stuff. And I was like, oh, would it have been a good idea if I just take it, go home, wash it, and then put it on <laughs> as like a little sexy thing? Oh, no. <laughs> so I, I took the shirt, washed it, did all that stuff. And then one time... They were over and I put it on and I went into the bedroom and he was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like he was just so like. Was he he a student at this school or was he working? He was a student at the school. Okay. Now I can see how that backfired. Yeah. So it's like if, you know, he put like if if your partner had put on a Trinity uniform. It's just like. (laughs) I would not touch him. Well, I was just, okay, so in my defense, I thought it would be cute because, like, this person never had sex in high school, so I was like, here's your chance. But, no, he didn't like that idea. I think it was just because the uniform was the exact same school uniform. Mm. And then the second question was, like, where the fuck did you get, like, (laughs) this teenager's uniform from? I mean, uh, I just like, like, schoolgirl outfits, but, like, Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again, schoolgirl outfits. Whips and chains. Yes. Mm. Yep. I want to say no for The me. eye roll. <laughs> she got That's turned a on. favourite. Fifty Shades of Grey, the movie. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I feel like I'm the only one who ever really enjoys that movie. Yeah. Oh, I like watching it. It's just like. It doesn't a, happen. Yeah. That well, doesn't happen in real well, life. Well, neither does Harry Potter, but I don't go starting campaigns against it. What do you mean Harry Potter Yeah, but happen. Fifty Shades. Obviously, Harry Potter doesn't exist in real life, but. <laughs> <laughs> Ob- she had to say like the obviously stop <laughs> i love harry potter i understand it is real <laughs> but magic doesn't exist I'm I'm sorry sorry about it. so people think that they can do it right and like the red room people think that's so hot but that is not the way it works in the real world <laughs> hate to break it She's to you guys now. that is not the way it works imagine if i just cut this entire bit so she doesn't get to rant, rant about <laughs> how much she doesn't like but we wrap up all the talking that we've done today Oh my god! You okay? Hi. I'm starting to choke up. No, I'm just like really thirsty, guys. Sorry. I can't believe we've been recording for so long. You know, there's so much that there's to do within the scene mm-hmm. and outside the scene and education purposes. Um, but like, yeah, I think I wanted to like just kind of wrap up the season because it's just been so like I cannot believe I've been doing this for four seasons. Yeah, I've, it's crazy. It's a long ass time. I don't even remember when. I think like I actually probably knew you before I even like started doing this properly um but like the fact that I've even just gone for this many years and just like kept going it's just like a lot I feel like we met around the same Same. maybe just after I like I knew of you when you started the podcast I just don't know if we were like friends yet yeah because I was probably avoiding you then still probably yeah yeah. probably um but yeah (laughs) <laughs> but it, it's it's been such like a nice like journey and like even just like seeing the scene like expand over the last couple of years mm-hmm. um has been amazing and seeing like this being talked about more and just like I don't really care if other people start podcasts and sex and stuff like they can do what they want but like it's just been so much fun like getting to do this and like meeting yeah. people and making friends um so I'm really glad and I'm glad that I got to wrap up with the last kind of bit of like this podcast with you guys me too just been fun shit talking mm. um would you like some more cake just, just i'm gonna have some more yeah i mean just, i'll just take a piece i just hate the I, like asmr like chewing sound really it just grinds my go, gears go for it more no <laughs> <laughs> phone oh my god <laughs> 
I don't know how I'm going to get this cake off his microphone, guys. This is why he's moving, because he's just so sick of delinquents like us. Not fair. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, well, it's been really nice having you guys on. Thank you for helping me wrap up the rest of the season. Um, Thank you for having us. I know, and hopefully you guys will be back next season. Different look, different things, yeah. all exciting, moving up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So till next time, stay safe and stay whorish. Bye. Bye. Bye.